Hi everyone, Gerard here, back to you with another tutorial video on taxation. On this video, we're going to be talking about how to compute annual income tax for pure compensation income earner. So a pure compensation income earner is an individual whose sole income comes from an employer-employee relationship. Now, it's important to identify this factor to know if indeed you are an employee. So first one, there is power to hire. Second, there is a selection process. Third one, there is payment of salary. And then fourth one, the power to dismiss by the employer. Another way to check, although not conclusive, is if the employer deducts or remits SSS, GSIS, field health or pag-ibig remittances on your behalf. Now, if you're unsure of your status, it's best to clarify because there are instances wherein they are actually treating you as a professional rendering professional services or a service contractor. If that would be the case, you're not only liable for income taxes, but also business tax. Now, for an employee, when we say compensation, this refers to all income payments in money or in kind, which includes salary, honoraria, bonuses, allowances, and other similar nature. Now, the taxable income for an employee could generally be the regular salary, the allowances, the excess of the statutory limit of the de minimis benefit, and the excess of the 90,000 limit of the 13-month pay. In addition to what I mentioned, the following could be counted as supplementary compensation, therefore could be taxable. Overtime pay, hazard pay, night differential, holiday pay, commissions under an employer-employee relationship, fees under an employer-employee relationship, emoluments and honoraria, taxable retirement and separation pay, value of living quarters and or meals, gains on exercise of stock rights, and then lastly, profit sharing and taxable bonuses. Now, in some cases, you might be receiving fees. Now, you need to clarify this because it might not be considered as compensation, rather professional income. Another one is commissions. Now, I get a lot of questions about this topic. Now, you need to clarify this as well because it might not be considered as compensation. Rather, it could be business income. Now, the annual income tax due of a pure compensation income earner is computed only by means of the updated graduated income tax table. Now, for us to understand this, let's have an illustrative problem. A rank-and-file employee from a private company received the following during the taxable year. It's worth mentioning that annual income tax due of employees from private and government entities is computed the same. To start, the total taxable benefits shall comprise the regular salary upon adding back the tax withheld. We will segregate the mandatory deduction of 21600 as part of the non-taxable compensation. The next portion of our computation will be the 13-month pay and other benefits. So the de minimis benefits within the limit shall be included as non-taxable benefits, while the excess shall be included as other benefits. Notice that the excess of the de minimis was combined with the 13-month pay and was compared to the limit of 90,000. Considering that the 37,000 is still well within the 90,000 limit, it shall not be taxable as well. Therefore, our total non-taxable compensation is 70,600, while the taxable compensation income is 318,000. Using the second bracket of the graduated income tax table from trained law, the tax due shall be computed as 318,000 less 250. The excess thereof is 68,000. This shall be multiplied to 20%, so the annual income tax due of the employee is 13,600. I'll mention it also that minimum wage earners are tax exempt. To learn more, watch the suggested video at the end of this tutorial. Take note that what we're talking about here is computation of annual income tax due. Now, as a way of collecting the taxes on a monthly basis, we have what we call withholding taxes on compensation income. Now, if you're interested with that, uh, I have a video discussing that. I'll link it in the description below. Now, assuming your employer properly withheld taxes from your compensation, you are now qualified for substituted filing, wherein it's the employer who will be filing your annual income tax. 
Now, as an employee, prepare your community tax certificate or your cedula because this will be used in filling up BIR Form 2316, which shall be issued by the employer to you as proof of taxes withheld. Lastly, husband and wife shall compute their individual income tax separately based on their respective taxable income. If any income cannot be definitely attributed to or identified as income exclusively earned or realized by either of the spouses, the same shall be divided equally between the spouses for the purpose of determining their respective taxable income. And that's it. So I hope this video assists you in understanding your tax compliance as a pure compensation income earner. So if you found this video very helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and hit that notification bell. So this is Gerard, and I'll talk to you in the next one.